Where are you from? Hi, my name is Habiba and I'm from Land Kelly Chase um, and we're based in London. So what inspired you to join the Art of Hosting training? Um, it was really this, the desire to have a different type of conversation, yeah? This, um, this, this thing about relationships and how we, um, how we engage with each other um, and it's through that and the dialogue that we're really ever going to get to um, a deeper level of connection with each other. Uh, which then helps us to work with a very different perspectives um, and use that as insight to create solutions rather than to kind of you know create a barriers and separation. So it was a kind of desire for me to to learn more about how to do that. So which experience you did not accept, expect to happen on that training? Um, I think it's this thing about my own practice. I haven't given a lot of attention to my own practice. Um, I guess me as a person and what is important to me, uh, how I enter a room, um, and, and, and so many questions I think about my, my, my own practice. I spend so much time thinking about the room and you know how um, people are gonna kind of engage and really externalizing things. Um, but actually, I think now I really connected, sort of, um, not thinking, not just thinking about the external, but also realizing actually the internal is really part of the external. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's been the thing for me. Um, so, if you had to describe other hosting in a gesture, which would it be? Which one would it be? <laughs> I guess a circle of embrace. I don't know. Cool. Um, so, what comes to your mind when you think of participatory leadership? I think right now, what's, what comes to my mind is um, the idea of creating spaces to have conversations that matter. Yeah. Um, and having the courage to follow through, even when it looks like it's... it's um, it's not working, it's going wrong, but sticking with that conviction that actually if this matters to people um, and this part of it going wrong and not being right is just part of it. Okay. Um, so what are you going to apply first once you get home? <laughs> I've actually got a meeting on Monday, <laughs> um, the day after tomorrow. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to... Uh, apply. We've just talked about the eight breaths, yeah, um, and it's really about I want to work with my, with my core group to think about um, the, the things that are coming up in the eight breaths. Um, one of the key things that we need to talk about on Monday is the clarity of our purpose, and then start to think about what are we going to do to prepare the groundwork. So yeah, so it's very very applicable. Cool. Mm -hmm. And one last question. Uh, what would you want to tell people who did not attend this training? Oh, oh um, so much I want to say. I think, um, I guess the, the tools are great, of course, um, and they help you to um, structure conversations. But I think a lot of this is just stuff that we understand intuitively. Yeah, um, and if we deeply care about this, um, and we have the courage to to tame a little bit of our own egos, yeah, and invite other people in. We can actually find that it's um, a space to connect as human beings is really the key thing. Uh, and once we, once we have that, we have that connection. Some tools and methods are more helpful at that, but it's not really ultimately about the tools and methods. It's really about that connection to each other. Um, and I think with that, that's kind of where uh, we can really um, get to new, to new spaces and places. Thanks. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah.